Good morning, student. Our today's topic is the square of a number. So today we will learn about the terms related to the square of a number and the properties related to the square of a number. So the first term is square. So what do you mean by square? Do you understand the meaning of square? Square means when a number multiplied by itself. When a number multiplied by itself, it gives the square of that number. Suppose if 5 multiplied by itself, 5 into 5, that is 5 square. The power of the square will be 2 and the base will be 5. When 16 multiplied by itself, that is square of 16, the power is exponential form is represented as 16 to the power 2. When x multiplied by itself, that is x squared. So in exponential form we can, we can write x into x as x squared. So this is the meaning of square. When a number multiplied by itself, that is called the square of a number. So now let us see the square of some numbers. Square of 1, square of 2, square of 2, 3 into 2, 4, square of 3, 3 into 3, 9, square of 4, 4 into 4, 16, square of 5, 5 into 5, 25, square of 6, 6 into 6, that is 6, square of 7, 7 into 7, 49, square of 8, 64, 8 into 8, 64, square of 9, 9 into 9, 81, and square of 10, 100, 10 to 10, 100. So now let us see. So, I, uh, I you understand odd number and even number? So here, odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So see, the square of 1 is 1, 1 is also an odd number. The square of 3 is 9, 3 is also an odd number and 9 is also a 9. Uh, odd number 5 square of 5 25 5 and 25 both are odd numbers square of 7 49 7 and 49 both are odd numbers and similarly 9 square of 9 9 and 81 both are odd numbers so here we see that the square of odd number is always a odd number now again you see a 2 square 2 is a even number and 4 is even number. 4 square 16, 4 and 16 both are even numbers. 6 square 36, 6 and 36 are even numbers. 8 square 64, 8 and 64 are even numbers. 10 square 100 both are even numbers. So here you can see that the square of even number is always a even number. So that is the property of square. The square of odd number is always a odd number. The square of even number is always a even number. So now let us understand the term perfect square number. Perfect square number. Perfect square number. Everybody is not perfect in the world. So a perfect square number. So every number cannot be a perfect square number. Every number has a square. Every number has a square. But every number cannot be a perfect square number. So which number comes under perfect square number? So those, num those numbers which is the square of another number. Those numbers the square of another number is comes under perfect square number. See, 9. 9 is the square of 3. That's why 9 is a perfect square number. So we compare 3 and 9. See, we have two numbers. We can find the square of 3 and square of 9. Now we can find the both the square of both the numbers. But in these two numbers, can we say that 3 is a perfect square number? No, because it is not the square of any number. But we can say that 9 is a perfect square because it is the square of 3. So in 3 and 9 both have squares. But 3 is not a perfect square number but 9 is a perfect number square because it is the square of another number. Similarly in 5 and 25. 
what is the value for a? 2, 2 square. 2ab, 2 into a into b. So 2 in place of 2, we can put 2. In place of a, write 2 and in place of b, put 6. Now in third column, we have b square. b square means 6 is square. Now write the square of 2. Square of 2 is 4. Multiply these three terms. 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 6, 24. And the square of 6, 6 into 6, 36. Now the next. Mark the ones place digit. The, at the last column, what number you get? Mark the ones place digit of that number. And the tens place digit. Tens place digit left here. You add this tens place digit to its preceding column. So plus 3. You can add this 3 to before column. 3, 23, 24 plus 3, it is 27. So again now mark its ones plus digit and take tens plus digit to add to first column. So 4 plus 2, 6. So what we get at first column? Write all the numbers. Write all the numbers what we get at first column. First column here we get only 6. 6 and mark number write 1 by 1. So in second column we mark 7 and in third column we mark 6. So this is the result. So the square of the number 6 is 676. So this is called column method. It is, the column method is used only to find the number up to two digit number. Only we can find by column method only two digit number. So square can be found by this column method. Now see the second method, diagonal method. By diagonal method how we can find the square of any number. So as first we have taken 26. Secondly, we also we also we are also using this 26 number to find the square by diagonal method. So square of 26 by diagonal method. Diagonal. Here the term is diagonal. So from which figure we get diagonal? Either it may be a square or a rectangular shape. So we draw a square. Of how many numbers are places are there? Ones place and tens place. So we have two places are here, tens and ones and tens place. Then only we draw a square of having two rows and two columns. So first we draw a square having two rows and two columns. Now the square of two rows and two columns is ready. Put one by one. Two six. Two, six. Okay. In one side we write 2 first then 6 and up, upside 2 and 6. Now make the diagonal of what does this mean? So first we have a square, we draw a diagonal. Then for bigger and small we draw a diagonal. For smaller and small we draw a diagonal. So every square has a diagonal here. Now we multiply first row and first column. 2 into 2, that is 4, right? 1 space here and 10 space at top. So 2 into 2, 4, 10 space, 4, 0. Multiply second row, first row and second column. Second column means in second column we have 6 and first row we have 2. 2 into 6, 12. In place of 1 space, we put 2 and in place of 10 space, 1. So 2 into 6, 12. Now we multiply second row, first column. 6 into 2, 6 into 2, 12. 
and six into six thirty six. Now every column, every triangle has filled with is filled with number. Increase the diagonals. Thank you.